Welcome to Family Feud Part 3 and today the family we have with us is Czech Škoda, the Slavia and the Kushak Sedan, SUV They're both based on the same platform and today we have with us the 1.5 litre petrols They also have both manual transmissions The last time the Kushak was with us it beat its crossover SUV brethren and so it has a bit of a reputation to uphold The last time we had a sedan versus an SUV, the sedan was the better handler. Let's see what happens today. And if you want to check out the video with the Kushak, that'll be down in the description below or you'll have a link that'll pop out somewhere here. And please watch, please subscribe. And to see when we have more videos like this coming out, hit that notification bell as well. For now, let's get straight to the action. The Kushak and the Slavia are quite similar. One's taller, one's longer, but their wheelbases are the same. The Kushak's also a little heavier and rides on 17-inch wheels compared to the Slavia's 16s. The Kushak's been here before, so it will set targets. Today we're going to start things off at 65 kmph based on the Kushak's performance on this corner the last time round. And at 65 kmph, though there's a little bit of understeery driftiness happening, they both are able to clear that last cone though the Kushak is able to hold a tighter line through it. 65 kmph done then, 70 kmph is going to decide this battle. At 70 kmph, that Kushak is not able to hold its line, it's drifting and oh, it hits that last cone. At 70 kmph, the Slavia is drifting very wide and two cones killed. But that's not the end of the story, is it? Let's rewind a bit. And if you freeze the Kushak there, when it's at its limit, what you'll see is that that front left wheel is actually off the ground. Ugh. Didn't feel that when I was driving it. And if you freeze frame when the Slavia was at its limit, though there's more body roll in the equation and it's drifted much wider than the Kushak, all four wheels are planted. Does this mean anything? Well, a crossover SUV and a sedan behave a little differently when they are at their limit. But the winner today at this corner is the Kushak. Kill just one cone and it also felt a little more predictable doing that. Time for the acceleration test now. Like we said, they're both 1.5 petrol, turbo petrols, but they're both manuals. So a little harder to launch off the line, but a lot more fun to do that as well. The Slavia just launches off the line better than the Kushak. Mostly down to the software allowing you to hold higher revs before dumping the clutch. And with that small advantage gained, the Kushak with the same powertrain can't catch up. But the Slavia also has taller gearing in 4th, 5th and 6th gear. So in the 4th gear roll-ons, the Kushak is quicker. The Kushak is a better stopper, both from 100 kmph as well as from 80 kmph Possibly helped by the larger wheels perhaps? It's also slightly heavier, which would have helped the tyres bite into the tarmac a little better too. And yes, now it's time for our extremely scientific mug test and we're going to meet another one of our teammates. That is Rohit Shah from the Karadeko News team. Hi Rohit. Hello sir. This is for you. And he's not only going to show us which one rides better, but he's, we are also going to see if he can smile as much as Aniruthan did the last time round. This test was a bit of a surprise. The Kushak won against the Kreta and the Tigon, so was a favourite of sorts. Over the rough stuff, it spilled 180 ml of water, which is quite impressive. On tarmac, the ride is composed over bigger bumps, but there is some jitteriness over smaller imperfections which does creep into the cabin. The Slavia actually spilled only 100 ml of water during our rough road test, which was quite a bit of a surprise. It's also Ani who clearly wins the smile competition. The Slavia suspension feels more absorbing of bigger bumps and there's less impact transferred into the cabin. On smooth roads too, it proved more comfortable, 
both over pumps and potholes as well as over small imperfections. It's two wins a piece again. The Slavia is more comfy and a little quicker in our tests and the Kushak is better on corners and brakes better too. So a bit of a surprise considering that we expected the sedan to corner better and the crossover to ride better but this test proved otherwise. The great bit though is that those differences were small and they both are rewarding from behind the wheel. Pick either one and you won't be disappointed. Again. <laughs>